arts, be they dance or architecture or painting or photography, uh, it helps bring stuff into my poetry, you know, and you try to be as diverse as possible. Uh, people are too insular, and that's one of the things that hopefully this eventually will help break down. I mean, I've got my own sort of uh, Stalin-esque five-year plan for it. If after five years it doesn't get to a point where nothing's really happening, then, you know, I'll probably, I'll probably discontinue it. But uh, at least then I can say I, I tried it for five years. And it's probably something, and like with the poetry group, is that, uh, you know, you read about the, you know, Algonquin Round Table. Uh, not that there were any great artists aside from perhaps Dorothy Parker in that group. Uh, but, you know, there, there's, so, there's, there's so little time that people put forth positive effort. Uh, even in the whole arts, uh, most of the time you go to a reading and it's a bunch of old ladies writing about uh, uh, their dead husbands or baking bread, or it's young kids with mohawks who grew up in a diner talking about how the man screwed them. And it, it's kind of silly and, and pointless. And uh, if you come to, for example, like the poetry group, uh, the uptown poetry group that I started, uh, I mean, I've, there have been people that have come and gone a handful of times.